What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys my first Division 2 build video and I'm excited to bring it to you guys because it's been a while, right? It's been a while since I brought a build video to my channel and that's what I was known for in the Division 1 but it took me a little bit of time to get into World Tier 4 and I didn't want to bring you guys a build before I got there. Now this build is great for using ARs and marksman rifles and you guys can even mess around with it and make it an SMG build. Play to your play style but for me I like running ARs and I like running sniper rifles so that's how I spec this build. We'll get into that in just a second. Remember if you're new to my channel first time watching the video hit the subscribe button turn notification bell on so when I release a video you guys get notified. If you guys enjoy this video find it useful smash the thumbs up and if you have any questions after watching this build video use the comment section down below. So what build am I running that I can run a sniper rifle and I can run an AR and you guys just saw I just one shot at that guy. Let's get into it. So let's get into the build itself. So if we look at the mask, the mask isn't perfectly rolled, but I am running a three-piece Providence set. This is going to give me 10% skill power, 8% health, and 5% weapon damage. It has critical hit chance and it has health. Now, if you can get a couple attributes that have health, that's going to help you have some type of survivability when players are focus firing you and you're trying to get away and your armor breaks. That's where health comes into play. Now, for the talents, I have a PVE talent on here, 15% damage to elites. This is where you could change something for... Let's see, I could probably roll 10% hazard protection or even 20% armor regeneration. Now, if you can get some offensive stats, that's where you can change a couple things. I do want to re-roll that hard hitting, and I do want to put something else, but since I'm using this for PvE and PvP, and it, the talent really doesn't affect me too much in PvP, as you guys saw in the clips you'll be seeing throughout this video. Now, for the vest, I do have 10% SMG damage on here. This brand set isn't a set that I should be running with this build but it has the talent that i need berserk and this is a really good talent for all of pve for all of pvp 10 percent weapon damage for every 10 percent of max armor depleted so as you start losing your armor you start hitting harder and the only requirements are you have a shotgun smg or assault rifle equipped so it only works with shotguns smgs and assault rifles now the mods i'm running on here are 2400 bonus armor so it's increasing my armor and then of course that 5% explosive resistance. Now if I could have got this Providence scent to have an offensive stat, because you remember your talents can only roll the same type. So if you get an, an offensive talent, it's only going to be able to recalibrate with the offensive talent. The same with your skill power. If you get a skill power talent, it's only going to be able to recalibrate with another skill power talent and the same with defensive. So defense, offense. So if I would have gotten an offensive talent right here, I could have swapped that out for Berserk and then I would have had a three piece here and then I could have swapped out one of my other pieces. But since I don't, I have to keep this on here for now, but it has some really good attributes so I'm not complaining too much. I have that 5.5% weapon damage. I'm trying to stack that throughout this build so that way it helps out my marksman rifle, not only my AR. I have bonus armor so that's going to help out my defense. Then I have some headshot damage on here which I wouldn't mind having some critical hit chance instead and then I have a thousand skill power. Now, if we get into the holster, you're going to see I'm running the one set that's going to give you 10% assault rifle damage. So this is great for the Sitar. And then the attributes are decent. 11% cooldown reduction and then 5,000 health on kill. Now, the talent that I have on here, I can't use because I have 7 defense. Now, I would like to get a different talent that would work here. I haven't really got a holster that's amazing that I can put on there. So I don't want to spend any money right now swapping this out and then swapping it out later. So for right now, I'm leaving it. It's pretty much a talent that's a waste. If you can get a really good talent here, this is where you can improve on this build. And as soon as I get more pieces, I'll start to improve it. But I wanted to put out a build for you guys. So that way you guys, if you guys like running ARs, if you guys like running sniper rifles, you can run a different combo with this build right here. Now for the knee pads, I'm running another Providence set. And you remember this is two or three. Um, the attributes are 6,000. And the talent is decent at 20% explosive damage. Now on here, I have offensive mods. I'm running 2.5 weapon damage, so I'm trying to stack as much weapon damage on this build. And then I also have pistol critical hit damage. Now for the gloves, I'm running my third Providence set. And then this is where I really like what you can get on these gloves. Um, these gloves have marksman rifle damage, so I get that extra 5% on here. And then I have a 7% assault rifle damage, so I'm getting a bonus on both of my primary and secondary weapon. The one talent I wish I could have if I had a talent on there and I could reroll this is clutch critical hits restore 15 percent health and repair two percent armor now this works great for ars smgs and lmgs because you have to be using one or the other 
Now this is probably one of the best talents in the game, just like on the vest. I didn't get the roll I needed, and if I could get something that has it, I can swap it out. I just don't have the perfect gloves, or if I had a chess piece that had Berserk on it and I could put it on this one, it would be a different story, right? But for now, this is how I'm running it. And remember, if you guys have that roll, you guys can improve on this build. Now for the backpack, this is where I like running this. It gives me 5% total armor. This gives me 9,000 health. I have critical hit chance, critical hit damage, plus the talents on here. Vital, health is increased by 20%, and then efficient, using an armor kit has a 50% chance to not consume that armor kit. I like that, I like that a lot. Now for the mods, I'm running a bonus armor and total armor bonuses for the defensive system mods, and then for the offensive system, I'm running weapon damage, weapon handling, and critical range. This is pretty much just pick the best mods you have on there that match with what your play style is and what you're running. So this, to me, is the best that I have at the moment. So for the skills, I love running the chem launcher, probably one of the best burst healing heals in the game, and then I pair that up with another heal. I run the drone, I run the fixer drone, and then that's also gonna give me a consistent heal, especially since in PvP, you're moving around a lot. So a lot of times they can't focus that fixer drone, or if they do focus the fixer drone, and they're out in the open, you can focus them. So what would they rather shoot at you or the fixer drone? It really makes a big difference of having two heals versus having one heal. But if you have a good team, you don't really need to run two heals. A lot of times I run solo, I solo queue in conflict, and that's the reason why I like running two heals. But skills wise, that's really up to what you wanna run. And then of course, when you mod them, just mod them with the best available skills that you can, because right now, these mods are really hard to unlock. You look right here. I can't unlock all of these, but let's go to a different one. For this one, it, for ammo, plus four ammo, skill power requirements, 2,200. There's no way I'm gonna unlock that if I'm running a high damage build. Like, same thing if we get into the drone, put whatever you can, whatever you can unlock. Some of them get kind of crazy, like this one, 26% health, 2,700 skill power. So put whatever you guys can unlock, and that's all I can really say. Maybe later on, they'll make it a little bit less. And that's how I run my AR Marksman Rifle build. Now, I wanna tell you guys, take all these builds you guys see on YouTube as a grain of salt. Don't build 100% around those builds, especially right now. Think about it, guys. The game has only officially been out a week. There was the earlier release that came out three to four days before, and the RNG isn't gonna bless everybody with God rolls. So a lot of times the builds you're seeing are builds that are good, right? They're, they're good builds, but they can all be improved on. So make those tweaks. When you get some better roll gloves, when you get some better roll vest, or you get a better roll mask, change those pieces out. Make the build work for your playstyle. Because one build that works for a YouTuber or works for one of your friends might not work for you. And that's what you have to keep in mind. That's the great thing about the division, division in general, because build diversity is what makes the game special and what makes the game different. Now, yes, there are some builds that are a little bit more powerful than other builds, but at the end of the day, I believe that there are enough builds in the Division 2 that you can perform really well. And with normalization being a big priority in conflict and in the regular DZs, I feel that makes builds a little bit more competitive. So if you guys have any questions on this build, if there's anything you think I can improve on, let me know in the comment section. I'm still looking for a little bit better roll sitar. I'm looking for a little bit better roll gloves especially gloves that I could put clutch on. I think that'd be very crucial to this build. And if I could stack a little bit more crit chance and then that would pair up really good with clutch, right? So there are a bunch of little tweaks that I wouldn't mind doing to this build. And I'm sure when you guys see this build, you guys will be like, okay, yeah, I like that. I don't like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And you guys will make the tweaks yourself and improve on the build. As always, guys, if you found this video useful, smash the thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel and the first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button turn notification bell on so when I release a video you guys get notified and I want to say thank you guys for always supporting my channel thank you guys for choosing me for your division 2 content because without you guys supporting this channel without you guys enjoying this content I wouldn't be able to do this and I'm thankful that you guys choose my channel to watch so I appreciate the support I appreciate the love as always if you don't see me in conflict if you don't see me in the dark zone it's only a matter of time Nothing but skills is out.